Welcome back, Knights of North Castle participants. Mrs. Davis back with science, day two. Joining me again are Ella, Evan, and Edison. We hope you had fun yesterday with day one of science. We're here for another fun experiment that we're going to be putting together. You probably heard the Bible story today about David defeating Goliath. God helped David have the faith to fight Goliath and win. North Castle also needs protection. Let's build catapults to protect it. So for building our catapults today, we are going to need several things. Some paper cups. Cups! Cups! Five craft sticks. Five. Three rubber bands. Three. An eraser or something small that you're going to fling with the catapult. A block to prop up the catapult at the back. You can even use like a Lego block or something. We just, we happen to have this little clicker that is block shape. Click, click. And then you need some tape. So we're gonna go ahead and have our participants start constructing the catapult. Watch closely. You're going to take two sticks and you are going to rubber band the front of it together. You'll probably have to double rubber band it to make it stay together good. Then we are going to take our four or our three sticks that are remaining and stack those up and rubber band them on both sides. There you go. Why don't you stack those up for there we go. Any size sticks are fine. It's just we need some height, so so Evan's gonna rubber band these on both sides together in constructing our catapult. And once again, you probably will have to double or triple the rubber band just to make sure those sticks stay together and don't move. Then we're going to tape the two sticks down to the table at the top by the rubber band that you put on at the very top by the rubber band. Okay. I, I just did it right on the top of it, if you want, right over that tip above the black rubber band. Very good. Okay. Then we're going to shove our three sticks that we rubber band together. We're going to put those in there on, in between the two sticks. Now you see how the catapult's coming to be? Now we're gonna use our block to kind of angle it up a little bit and then we're gonna tape our block down on both sides. So while Evan's working on that, I'm gonna have Ella and Edison start constructing our cups to make a tower that we're going to attempt to knock down with the catapult. So we're gonna put five in the first row. We're using a bunch of cups. You really only need three cups to do this experiment, but Ella and Edison had so much fun doing this that we're gonna use 15 cups. That's too many on the bottom row. We gotta have five on the bottom row for this to work out the best. Okay, then four, then three. Okay, let's finish constructing. They're making our nice tower, and then two, two then one. and then one. There we go. So you can see, I'm going to move a little closer here before Evan does this to show you the nice tower we have built here. You, like I said, only really need three cups to do this, but we made a giant tower. So what you're going to do now is take your eraser, or you could attempt to use marshmallows. We tried it with marshmallows but it was a little bit light with the marshmallows. So you need something a little bit heavier to be able to knock your tower down. So Evan's gonna go ahead and give this a go and see if he can hit. Oh, there we go. That was a nice hit. So that is how you create a catapult. And I hope you had fun doing that. Cat catapults, I'm gonna tell you why this works. They're based on a simple machine called a lever. A lever uses a long arm connected to a fixed point called the fulcrum to change how a force acts on an object. In this case, the handle uh, of, or, or the, uh, 
Craft stick is the arm and the fulcrum is located where the stick meets the base of the catapult. You press down on the catapult, but it releases the force going up. The lever also forces the force, which was the, the, the uh, eraser that we used. It's released with more force than you use to push down the arm of the catapult. So, how did this tie in with the Bible story about David defeating Goliath? You might ask, well, these catapults may not actually protect our castle very well, especially if we are firing erasers in Machma. Fortunately, our relationship with and commitment to God and God's children will help us stand up for justice. Thanks for joining us for Day 2 of Science. See you tomorrow for another fun experiment. Thank <laughs> you.